Human beings have been kicking things around for enjoyment for millennia, which likely gave rise to the creation of soccer, or football as it's known in many countries. The appeal of playing with a round object is undeniable. A closer look at a soccer ball, however, reveals that it isn't flawlessly round or spherical. Despite this, the 2010 FIFA World Cup held in South Africa featured the roundest ball ever played with in the tournament's history. This roundness made a distinct difference in gameplay. Not all of those differences were appreciated by participating teams. Every four years, ahead of the FIFA World Cup, the official ball to be used throughout the tournament is revealed. These balls usually receive an official designation. The ball utilized during the 2010 World Cup was christened Jabulani, or to celebrate, in Isizulu, one of South Africa's 11 national languages. That edition of the World Cup marked the 11th time that Adidas had produced balls for the tournament. Weighing 439 grams and boasting a 69 centimeter circumference, Jabulani contributed its own elements to the field. Boasting a revolutionary grip and groove surface, the ball was designed to provide exceptional holding and stability during flight, thanks to its remarkable aerodynamic properties. Its lack of traditional panels and internal stitching, which allowed for an almost perfectly spherical shape, not only made Jabulani the roundest ball in World Cup history, but incited claims from Adidas that it was the most accurate and stable ball they had ever manufactured. As soccer is the most globally watched sport, the ball used in the game's biggest competition attracts significant focus and often undergoes scientific analyses. For Jabulani, opinions were mixed around the world. Some praised the impressive stability of flight of the ball, while others critiqued it as being excessively round. General public sentiment mirrored confusion among players, who often struggled to anticipate the ball's random swerves due to its complete roundness. Player complaints about control struggles and putting a spin on the ball were echoed by goalkeepers, who reported that the ball seemed to slow down mid-flight or rise abruptly, complicating their predictions of the trajectory. While some believed that the player criticisms were random excuses for poor performance, the fact that Jabulani was the roundest ball in history seems to uphold some validity of the numerous criticisms. There was considerable thought given to the ideal ball design for future World Cups following the vocal criticisms of Jabulani's roundness. However, it wouldn't be surprising if subsequent tournaments continued with less than perfectly round balls. After all, constructive feedback is always beneficial, even on the football pitch.